Hello there and welcome to June 2019. Here we're on paper one A2 math. Here we're looking at question eight. So figure two shows a sketch of part of a curve with equation y equals x, x plus two, x minus four. And the region R1 shown in figure two is bounded by the curve and the negative x-axis. The negative, yeah, the negative x-axis. Show that the exact area of R1 is 20 over three. Well, this point here, uh, uh, this point here and this point here can be calculated from the equation of the line. This point here is going to be minus 2, this point is going to be 0, this point is going to be 4. These are the roots of the um, equation when factorised. So my integral then is going to be the integral from um, min 0 to minus 2 of x bracket x plus 2 x minus 4 dx. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to expand the bracket, so 0 to minus 2. Let's expand, so it's going to be x cubed, then it's going to be minus 2x squared, then it's going to be minus 8x, uh, and then that's dx. Okay, so let's now integrate, so increase the power by 1 divided by the new power, so 1 over 4x to the 4 minus 2 over 3x to the 3 minus 4x squared. So that would be between 0 to minus 2. So uh, substitute 0 in and you get 0. And then we're going to subtract minus 2 going in. Uh, minus 2, that would be 16. Uh, divide by 4, that would be 4. Then it would be plus for the triple quadruple negative on this. Uh, so that would be minus 2, 16 over 4, 16 over 3, then minus, uh, this one's going to be 4, 16. So when we simplify all of this, it's going to be 4 minus 16, it's minus 12, uh, and a fraction over 3 will make it minus 36 over 3, and then plus 16 over 3, which was simplified to minus 20 over 3, so therefore, the area is going to be um, 20 over 3. Um, oh no, wait, it's because I did the signs wrong. That should be a plus, that should be a minus, so that should be a plus. So therefore, the area is 20 over 3. There we are. So yeah, that's the answer to part A then. Uh, just make sure you incorporate the negative into your second, fra second bracket. Okay, let's move on to part B then. So now we're looking um, at the same points here. The region R2, also shown in figure 2, is bounded by the curve, the positive x-axis, and the line with the equation x equals b, where b is in between 0 to 4. Uh, given that the area of R1 is equal to the area of R2, satisfy, um, show that b satisfies this equation here. Right then, so what they're looking for us to do then is to do the integral from b down to 0 of x cubed minus 2x squared minus 8x dx. And that's going to equal the same as area R1, but it's on the bottom of the, um, of the graph. It's underneath the x-axis, so therefore that area is going to be minus 20 over 3. So let's now do the integration on this. It would be 1 quarter x to the 4 minus 2 over 3x cubed minus 4x squared integrated in between b to 0, and that's going to equal minus 20 over 3. So let's now substitute it in. It's going to be 1 quarter b to the power of 4 minus 2 thirds b cubed minus um, 4b squared. And then substitute 0 in, which will give you nothing so that would be equal to minus 20 over 3. Let's multiply by 12 all the way through to get rid of any fractions. So it would be 3b to the power of 4 minus, and multiply this by 12 times top by 8. So it would be 4, so it would be 8b cubed minus, um, this times 12 would be 48b squared. And if I add the um, 80 onto the side, I get that equals zero, because uh, 
the yeah yeah that's right so the next thing we need to do is now factorize out b plus 2 a couple of times so b plus 2 factorized out do some algebraic division here that would be 3b cubed that would give us a 6b cubed so it's 6 yeah 6b cubed so that means we'll need to minus um, 14b squared if we minus 14b squared it gets minus 28 so we need another minus 20 um, so that will give us minus 20 on the B, but then we need, um, that will give us minus, uh, so no, sorry, um, we've got, that will give us minus, um, minus 28, so we need minus 20B rather, and that will give us minus 40B, um, so then we need to do plus 40 to balance that all out. Yeah, there we are. That's good. And then we need to do another factor of b plus 2. So another bit of algebraic division. So again, dividing by b plus 2. So that would be 3b squared. Uh, 3b squared, that will give us um, plus 6b squared. We need that. So it would be minus 20b to make it minus 20b squared. And then uh, that would give us minus 40b, uh, we don't want minus 40b, we want minus 20b, so we want plus 20, uh, so that'll give us plus 20b, uh, so that'll give us up to minus uh, 20b, and then 20 times 2 is 40, lovely, there we are. So there we are, so just a bit of algebraic division between these lines from here to here to here. And moving on to the final bit then, so the roots of the equation 3b minus 20b plus 20 equals 0, that was the second part on the root here, um, are 1.225 and 5.442 uh, to three decimal places. Uh, the value of b is therefore 1.225 to three decimal places. Explain with the aid of a diagram the significance of your root 5.442. So 5.442, well, we know that this point here is 4, so 5.442 will be somewhere up here, and 5.442 will be the point at which, if you take all of the area in between 0 to 4, so I need to explain this, if you take all of the area between the curve, the positive x-axis, from 0 to 4. What I'm saying here is all of this area down here and then subtract this area up here, then subtract area from 4 to 5.442, you will get the same as area R2. And there we are, that's the explanation. So to get this area R2, the shaded area here, you could also do this big area here, take away this amount of area here, and that will give you the same as area R2, because this area down here will actually be negative, this area up here will be positive, or will be calculated as positive when you do the integral anyway. Um, so then when these two cancel each other out, you'll just be left with this area R2 here. There we are, that's the explanation for 8C. And there we are, that's the answer to this question here. 10 marks for this one here. Some some uh, difficult bits of this question here. So some algebraic division as well as some integration. So there we are, that's question 8. Let's now move on to question 9.